Come on. Hey. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster in this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and ekama jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Dear would never refuse his daughter Dear a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Fine, tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Old man Newman left me a gift last time. Whoa. I had some. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? Ah! Do not get in my way. That is it. Duke's only giving you a bit of advice. Ah, so good to see you. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My, whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. I've worked up quite the appetite. Don't know, you know, but you won't mind it. On your way? Finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Huh. This could actually work. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, and your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan.
Stop right there. What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. Then bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Better than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. You'll never learn. I've been hit. Ow! To the house, quickly. He shan't get us there. Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be. This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See, it's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Hmm, what are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. He promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrived. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation is for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dad's going to be like. Go, you've known him long. Say something. You're both stage artists, and cabaret's a form of theater. Interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. He'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. We talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. 
Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Sick. Sick of it all. My presence is an affront to the eternal fire. Molly! Everything all right? What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh, hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We gotta help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. Fine. Let's find the... Find anything? Not here. Ah, the key. Whoa! What the devil's it? Get out of my house! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa! Slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass! Shut up, or I'll split your skull! Ask nicely. But you just wouldn't listen, and I'm not the kind to give second chances. Stay out of this, freak! Before this ends with you getting your head smashed in! Gentlemen, please! There it is. One word too many. Oh, you're scared. You'll never learn. That's her! Geralt can get carried away at times and... You know, maybe it's for the best. I felt no pity, no remorse as I watched you brawl. Can't help but think it means I've no actual feelings for Hubio. You're not mad? No. Grateful. I believe I needed a shock not unlike that one to understand that what I had with Hubio... Well, it wasn't working. I'm ready to try something new. I'd gladly start by choreographing your review. Excellent. Then I'll see you at the Rosemary in time. Huh. Kind of expected her to get hysterical, fly into a rage. So did I. Merely goes to show just how much we've yet to learn about women. One of whom's waiting for you at the Rosemary. 
I've still got to stop by Rotlix. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Help! Save me! I'm dying! For Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Oh. A mistake. You oh. this mutant. <laughs> State losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy? Could have said so right away. Wine's more expensive. Oh, as I oh, tell you, yeah. this is all the balance. Look all pretty suspicious to me. Artist, painter, debtor. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. As a group of angry creditors. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my... And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to... What's there to worry about, Mrs... You've had a spell of bad luck. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts, then g You are that good a rider? Far from the worst.
Not so fast, Roach. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary and Tyne, just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. So the Zima, Imperial Lackey. Happiness will come today. <laughs> well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Thanks, but I'm not really in the mood. Have it your way. I, on the other hand, will drink. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... she say anything about me? She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Ugh. Oh wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time, you know. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked! They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital! Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Priscilla, is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Graz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. 
Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery? Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Mm hmm Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. You lead. Preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Thick. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. It is not better to nip the problem in the bud. I tried to get the temple guard to enter the sewers, and I had no avail. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Excellent <laughs> Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Take the ladder. This is the place. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Human. Wrong body type.
This isn't it. Human, wrong body type. Gotta be him. This one's a she. A dwarf, but the hands. Not a carpenter's. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood. Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin, an incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies. We surgeons, we've a different sensibility. Mm-hmm. And a different sense of humor. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Sure of one thing. This was punishment. Even the witch hunters don't engage in this kind of torture. What sin could possibly merit it? Only the murderer knows that. And it's the key to finding him. Or her. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy. But I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted. Drag others into trouble in the process. 
Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. You'll be here shortly. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. You, Eustace, the corpse collector. I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets, <laughs> made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Talk. what did you find on him? I, oh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right in a as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Fucking hell, what was that for? For everything.
anyone home? Be gone! Or I'll sit me hounds on you! Relax. It's all together different. Sit, you stupid much. Lay down! So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. You near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. I saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from High Rack Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze, and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbours. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. In Novigrad, folk give bleeding orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. They care about some dwarf. Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Well, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But he was an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dishrag, and other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dishrag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Fine. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Something had dragged something across the floor. Statues. Or dragged it from a corpse. Might the have other. I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled from to Malda. death. Unless Doubt Fabian used it. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Eyes. Humanoid. Completely rotten. Nothing interesting here. Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Just brains and brains. Watch your tread. No regrets, no hey, your stomping ground. A brazier. This time of year. Man's footprint. The murderer is maybe. Wait on his heels. The murderer fled back. before the guards Daddy. arrived. And this way. Off to him, see what he does. A 
brazier this time of year. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you, especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. Till next time, Master. What are your wounds? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, we'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We've been to Novigrad. 
Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, uttered not a word on her way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Vellum's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Spread out! Murder is still here! Between your eyes. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. For it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, the only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And 
let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Another empty formaldehyde bottle. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's, fast. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Why buy tomorrow what you can buy today? <coughs> no one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturbed me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways, many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims, I know how they end. You don't stop. Not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer. Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <laughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. 
He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. To Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. You'll untie her, drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes, I will. Good boy. Are you alright? Welcome. Arrgh! run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire. Higher, of course. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the Church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city, its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. There are other ways. Could have set up a soapbox in Hierarch Square, preached from it. How funny. That's exactly what I did. But none listened. Instead they laughed. Threw stones. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A trebirates for whom nothing was sacred. Nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good. Might not cut it.
must be order. So the worst scum flow. Many thanks to you, guys. Ah. I've sweat enough in the gutter. Snails come out after the rain. Well, well, you God, You'll scrap your kidneys! You look like necrophages. Violent appearance in the... Better, right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Don't mention it. Nothing a friend wouldn't do. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. <laughs> 